the things that really interested me about this story is that there's so many different angles to it. It's, um, you know, there's a big science angle to it, obviously, about how bacteria become antibiotic resistant um, and this war that's been going on between um, microbes and the drugs we use to fight them that's been going on for, you know, eight uh, decades at least. Um, so there's an interesting science story here, but in addition, there's also a really interesting politics story. Um, you know, there's politics around India's reaction to how to deal with this so-called superbug um, caused by bacteria with the NDM1 gene in it. <clears throat> now, the NDM1 uh, gene itself, the way it's been named, is all very political. Um, it's been named after New Delhi. That's what the N and D stand for, and there's a lot of uh, controversy in India about that because, of course, um, you know, it sort of makes them look like this hotbed of disease, which is a very old kind of stereotype about India um, that they're really trying to shed because India is developing so fast, becoming a very prosperous uh, country. Um, so there's a lot of politics involved. Um, there's, also, there's a great science story here. Um, and in addition, there's also an economics angle to the story where, you know, the reason that NDM1 bacteria are a problem and are scary is because there's no new drugs in development for these kinds of bacterial infections. Um, so, and, and that gets down to market incentives. You know, the drug industry is developing new drugs for um, antibiotic resistant drugs here in the US and the UK, but not so much for the ones that are common in tropical countries. Um, and that's because of market, in, market failures and et cetera. So there's a whole economics angle too. So all these things come together in the story, which is why it was so interesting to me. Um, and one of the things that was really surprising, and I've been traveling to India for many years, um, and I have family, uh, who, you know, who live there still, and, um, I, you know, I've had a lot of experience in sort of slum areas. My dad grew up in a tenement building in South Bombay. Um, so, but it's still always so surprising to go into these slum areas and see how people live, um, and to see how exposed they are to microbial pathogens and other kinds of pathogens, and yet at the same time how welcoming they are and how just ebullient some of the kids are. Um, you know, so that contrast, you know, and, and at the same time you have these very sort of neglected pockets of poverty in India, and then you have these world-class facilities, um, some of these hospitals where these bacterial infections are occurring are really just these gorgeous hospitals. So, you know, that Seeing that, you know, I know it's I know it's true. I've been to India many times. Um, yet when you see that contrast, it's always kind of a kind of surprising and kind of new all 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 